Hey guys, it's Marella. So today I am giving you a winter haul and I have so much stuff to show. I don't even know how long this is gonna take. I'm going to New York next week and it's gonna be extremely cold. And so I wanted to buy myself enough coats and sweaters and jackets and just everything in order to keep myself warm. I also wanted to look stylish because I have a lot of coats and scarves and you know, just things to layer, but they aren't like super cute. So, plus I've already worn them. Even if they were cute, they have been worn, been there, done that. So I wanted to buy myself more stuff so that I can take cute pictures for this upcoming trip. And really the trip is just for me to have fun and explore the city. So I want to wear my cute outfits. I got stuff, I put it all right here in front of me. I got stuff from Forever 21 from Polo Ralph Lauren, from Target, and also from this website called Shein, or Sheen, Sheen. So I'm gonna be showing you guys all of that. I did a ton of shopping for Black Friday and Cyber Monday also because I wanted to get those deals. Otherwise, trust me, I would not have spent this much money and I got everything for like a really, really good price. Also, the sweater that I'm wearing is included in the haul. I just loved it so much, I wanted to wear it today. It has stars on the side, the front and the back. And this is one of the items that I got from Sheen. I'm just gonna say it like that and then I'll show you all the rest. So first I'm gonna start with this sweater or jacket, I don't really know like what you would call it, that I got from Target. This is from the brand Wild Fable, which I have gotten so many of my pants from. I got my black jean jacket from there. They just have really, really cute stuff. This was $40, I'm gonna put it on. I'm not usually a fan of animal print at all actually, but I saw this and I don't know, for some reason I just really liked it. It's kind of a bomber jacket, but a lot of the bomber jackets that you find that are animal print have the ribbed sleeve like cap and around the neck as well and then around the bottom as well. But this is leopard print all the way around, so I really liked that about it. It also zips up, but I think it looks cuter open. So when I bought it, I didn't notice this. This is kind of weird, but allow me to show you. It has a hood and the hood has ears on it. Like what am I, a club kid? This is so not me to wear the hood, not my style. Ears are weird, but I really like the jacket a lot and it's so soft and warm. It's actually making me like way too hot to wear it just in this normal setting. So when I do wear it, I'm definitely not gonna wear the hood unless I'm like freezing and it's for function, not style. But the jacket is actually really cute to me, so I had to get it. I'm just gonna throw everything that I'm showing you guys on the bed behind me. <laughs> Next, I'll show you guys everything I got from Sheen. So like I said, I got this sweater that I'm wearing. This sweater probably wouldn't be good for weather like New York or anywhere that's really cold and snowing. It's better for places like this or LA, you know, where you can just wear a sweater and be comfortable. I got some other sweaters from there that I thought maybe I could wear to New York that I would wear like underneath all of my jackets and layers. So this is one of them. It looks kind of like neon over camera. Let me try to like show you guys the true color. Uh, it's really hard to tell. In person, this is just an oversized cardigan that is more of like an orangey kind of color, like a light orange. It looks like this neon yellow color over camera. It is not. It's probably just the lights are so bright, like reflecting off of the fabric. So to be honest with you guys, I was a little bit disappointed when I got this sweater because it is really not soft. It was on super sale and it looked cute on the website and on the model. And then when I got it, I was like, Ugh. This is really like not soft at all. I'm gonna have to wash it and dry it and see if maybe it gets a little bit fluffier, but I don't have like too much hope. Luckily it was really cheap and it still looks cute. Like I could definitely see this with a lot of different outfits being cute, but it's just not the best quality. Same with this sweater. So the reason why I ordered from Sheen at all is because I had heard good things from my friends and from other YouTubers that they really liked the clothes that they got and they got things that were good quality and fit nicely. So I was like, okay, you know, I'm gonna get something nice. But honestly, the quality is just, it is not good. It feels like really, really cheap material. And I think that the sweater is still cute, but this is also extremely oversized. Like, do you see how wide that is? Oh my God, it's like a blanket. And I bought everything in either an extra small or a double extra small, like whatever the smallest size of everything was, I got it. And I understand this being an oversized sweater, but it is so, so huge. It's really cute. I also tried it on here. I'll put it on for you guys. See, it's not hideous and I can see it also looking cute with an outfit. Like the sleeves aren't too crazy long or anything, but I also think that the sleeves could be like tight and then it would fit better. More than triple the width of me. So, you know, you get what you paid for. I got like extreme sales. Next, literally same exact kind of material, that really like rough sweatery material. There's just this normal cropped, kind of like more wide and loose pullover sweater. 
and it's just plain black. I thought that this could go with pretty much anything. You could layer it or wear it alone with jeans, with my all black outfits that I like to wear all the time. And for things like that that are kind of just basic staples, I feel like they don't need to be the best quality because usually you end up having like five of the same thing, you know, <laughs> or at least I do. Then I also got this, which is extremely cute and fits really well. It's just a little mock turtleneck and it's ribbed so it has like the stripes in the fabric. The only thing is it is pretty see-through, so you would definitely have to layer it with like a camisole or something if it was cold. I mean, if it's not cold, then by all means like show it off, girl. But I think this is really cute and I like to wear things like this when I'm layering all black because I love to layer all black all the time. Whenever I post pictures online, like I'm not usually posting photos of me in all black. I'm usually trying to dress up and dress cuter and like look different, but really my everyday is like all black. And then lastly from Shein, I got this white ribbed bodysuit that fits so cute. Like I can just see this looking so good for a holiday party. I'm totally gonna wear it to one. It looks like it would be really low cut, but it's not. It shows just about above the cleavage. It's really tight, but also stretchy. And like I said, it's ribbed. So it just looks a little nicer when things are ribbed because then they're not quite as see-through. And out of everything that I got, this definitely fits the best. Like it fits on the body. It's not too long in the crotch area and the sleeves fit. Just everything fit really nicely when I tried this on. I was like, good. I got one really good thing. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna show you everything I got from Forever 21. This is mostly coats a lot of coats. So these ones actually have the price tags on them, but I did get everything on sale. So not everything is going to be accurate. It's just like in case you guys that we're buying these things now, this is how much they cost. This jacket was an extra small. That is just so rare at Forever 21. And this was normally $47.90. So the reason why I liked this and why I like all jackets like this is because it cinches at the waist. So it actually looks more flattering on your body instead of looking like you just have on this huge, ginormous puffy coat that gives you no shape. It actually like tucks you in at the waist and gives you a little bit of shape. So granted, this is a very big and thick jacket. It's definitely good for cold weather because it's lined and layered and you can probably wear like this a few sweaters underneath and be fine in the cold. But see, I have a few jackets like this that actually give me a shape and I'm very thankful for that because wearing a ton of layers never makes me feel cute. So I liked this, I thought it would be perfect for my trip. I guess I'll just stand up for like all of these next ones. This next one, I saw one like this at Abercrombie for $300 and I was like, <laughs> no. So then Bradley and I walked into Forever 21 and saw this and he was like, well, I'll buy it for you. This was normally only $29.90, so not bad at all. Very business cash. Look at that. It's so cute. I have one that is a little bit similar as far as the style, but the pattern and shape are really different. So I had to have this one too. Not only do I think that this is cute as a coat and just to wear like over an outfit, kind of like what I have on now, but I think it would be so cute with a skirt and like high boots or something. I love the look where it's kind of like, are you wearing an oversized men's jacket or is it supposed to be like that? Very Elaine from Seinfeld in the 90s. Now this next one is like the ugliest color ever, I know, but it's cute at the same time. This one also came in an extra small and whenever I see that, I'm like, that wins over my heart, I'm gonna get it. This one was $64.90 originally. And I know it's like chartreuse and chartreuse seems like the kind of color that you wouldn't really be able to wear with anything. But if you wear it with like neutral tones, then yes, girl. Now I just wanna wear this with a red dress underneath for date night with some cute little heels because I feel like it actually looks really nice. This is also the weirdest material. It feels like rough felt. I can't even explain it. Because I got these online, I had to just kind of judge by what they looked like on the model. And I think that this has like a nice professional look, even though it doesn't seem like it would be. I can just really imagine it with the dress and heels, especially because you can't tell because you can't see all the way down my body, but it goes to about my knees, so it really will keep you warm. This next top is just a little sweater top. It's tight and form-fitting, and I thought it would look nice underneath jackets. This one is ribbed, noticing a trend, and it's also a thicker material, and it kind of feels velvety. This one was $17.90, not bad. And then plus on sale, I think I got it for like 10 bucks. And then I also got two adorable hats. I usually don't like to buy the hats in store because I have kind of like, I'm just kind of a germaphobe. So when I know they're coming from online, I'm like, okay, no one has probably put it on their head yet, but that's just wishful thinking. So whatever, let's not talk about it. <laughs> anyway, here is one of the hats. I wanted to get something other than beanies to wear to New York because my head gets super cold. And if I have a hat on, it makes me like, 
10 times warmer, but I wore beanies last year the entire time I was in London and I'm like, okay, I want my pictures to look really different. So I got these little like cab driver hats and I just think this is the cutest thing ever. I wish I had it in like 20 different colors because honestly, I would wear this all the time, but I'm not wearing it yet. I'm saving it for New York. Now the next hat is the same style, but it's this green plaid. And I saw this and I was like, oh my God, yes, that is so cute and wintery. This hat is a lot bulkier than the other one, but I think it's still really cute. I just wanna wear these all the time. <laughs> So flattering. I think I look better in a hat than I do without a hat, honestly. So this is the last hat, but I really wanna buy more before I go so then I can have like one hat every day. And then the very last thing that I got is from Polo Ralph Lauren. This is gonna be probably like my New York staple because I don't have any coats that are this warm, like meant to be worn in the snow. So this jacket is supposed to be able to protect you from like negative nine degrees Fahrenheit. And it also goes down like my mid thigh. Don't be alarmed, this is faux fur. Oh my God, I'm already claustrophobic. I don't know what these coats are called. Just a huge puffy coat. So here it is and you see, this is honestly so extra, but I just know myself and I get cold so easily. So I needed something really big to help me survive the long winters of New York. So I got this and I think it's gonna be perfect and I need to take it off. <laughs> This was 50% off on Black Friday. So I know it's a winter haul, but it's technically mostly like coats and jackets, but it's all gonna be really good for my trip. And then a little expert tip, just in case you guys have never done this before, anytime you're ever gonna go online shopping, look on the site's Instagram page, because if you look at their most recent posts, they'll usually say like, free shipping, use the code blank, or 20% off, use code blank, and you don't ever wanna miss those sales and then pay full price and be like, why didn't I just look? Also, if you know of a lot of influencers who give out coupon codes, always use them because saving money is saving money. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for my winter haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up for me. Please subscribe to me if you haven't already. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.